there was a lot of learning and mistakes that happened uh, in that time frame. But so one of our partners had actually broken off and he was working in open most of the time and 100 percent of the time. And then me and my other business partner, we were help running the grow and and uh, one of the other partners was help running the dispensary. So we kind of had that little cycle going and we had two different uh, areas that we were focused on. And we kind of, we played in each other's, our own sandbox. And, you know, the thing about partners is, and, and I don't want to go over, go over this quickly, you know, I don't want to glaze right over this, but we had a lot of issues through this whole thing. We had, there was a lot of push and pull. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, threats and anger and mis- and trust issues. And you know, uh, it was a struggle the entire time. Well, I was, I was going to say, let's, it's almost like when you were talking about when they first implemented the regulations and you have, were forced into these shotgun, you know, relationships and these partnerships and that happened everywhere. And it's, it's interesting because what they previously would have prosecuted you for, uh, as a criminal enterprise and conspiracy, now the regulations were actually forcing you into these relationships that you may not even want to be in. Yeah, it's, I it's, mean, it's destined. It's destined to have some conflict because you're not able to really choose a, the partner you would ideally want to partner with. And I think part of it was by design. And, you know, our our governor and regulators had came out and said, "We are going to force this issue. We want this to happen." And, you know, 60% of you guys are going to be out of business within the next 12 to 18 right. months. And, you know, I mean, if you can imagine getting into, um, I mean, I don't know if you guys are married or not. I, I'm, nope. I've got a great partner. She's amazing. Um, but, you know, stepping into the dating relationships that I had in my past, you know, if I had just gotten married to we basically had like 60 days it was like 60 or 90 days it was a very small small window to make this happen um you know dating people for 60 days and going well i guess we're gonna get married is (laughs) insane that's insane and most of them don't last because you don't know who they are you don't know who the person is um and business relationships are so much they're so closely tied to marriage in a way. And so if you're jumping into bed with somebody that, um, you know, is potentially a compulsive liar or a thief, you sometimes don't know for those first couple months right. because you're blinded by the honeymoon period, right? Yeah. Like this person is so awesome. The infatuation period. Yeah, <laughs> I love being around them. I, I, I can't stand being away from them, you know, a couple months in. And then about six months in, you, you know, there's some things that you start catching that annoy you. You're like, oh, so, (laughs) you know, but the thing I want, I want people to remember when they're, when they're going through these situations out there that this is also an evolution of yourself, right? This is a growth that you have to go through. And once I was able to step back after, you know, the exit of cannabis and in my businesses, my plant touching businesses, I'll call them. I was able to realize that everybody was strategically in the room because of the situation. And so each of us at the time had a little something that the other person didn't have. Right. And that's what's, that's what makes a great partnership. Right. Um, and I, I didn't really have the time to think about that you know, through the process. So when I was able to step back in 2015, I really got a sense of, you know what, even though that that person was frustrating me, even though they drove me nuts or they were insane, there were some things that they were really good at. And there were some things they were really good at handling. And, and it's hard to be that, it's hard to be all things as an entrepreneur. You can do it for a little while, but you're not really great at it, right? <laughs> 